Hi, I'm Bob from Pluggable Technologies. In previous videos, I went over basic multi-monitor setup and troubleshooting for, thi for when things don't work as expected. In this video, I'd like to talk about display scaling. Windows has the ability to scale the content on your displays to make it easier to see, such as your application windows, your icons, so on and so forth. So how does this all work? What I have here is a Dell laptop that has a 1366 by 768 resolution display connected to a ViewSonic monitor that has a 3840 by 2160 display, also known as 4K. So they have very different resolutions. But display scaling is different than resolution, and I'm going to show you. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to bring up a window an application window for Notepad++. And on my internal display, it looks about the size I would expect and, my, and would be useful to use. But if I drag that window over to the 4K display, you can see it looks very tiny. And that's because of the difference in resolution, because this has a greater resolution. That same window that appears bigger here appears smaller on my 4K display. Well that's almost impossible for me to read and effectively use, so how can I change that but not lower the resolution of the display? Well, this is how you do this. Let me go ahead and I'm going to move this window back out of the way for just a moment and minimize it. I'm going to right click on an empty spot on my desktop and select display settings. If you've watched our previous videos, this is nothing new. And what Windows shows me are the two displays connected to the system. Number one is for my internal display, and number two is for my external display. Again, as a quick refresher, if you need to know which is which, Windows has this little identify function that you can click, and you'll see little numbers to represent the boxes. So what I can see is while my internal display is selected, there's this option right here that says change the size of text, apps, and other items. And it's set to 100%, meaning there's no scaling at happening, things are one to one. If I click on monitor number two, I see the same thing, that there is no scaling happening. But what if I change that? If I change monitor number two to be 200% scale, notice my background image didn't change, the resolution is the same, and I bring back my application and drag it to the other window, you'll notice that as I drag over, it kind of pops and becomes larger because Windows is scaling that window to 200% of its size. Let me show it to you one more time real slow. Drag it from the 4K display back to my internal display. You can see it actually looks pretty big. And then what will happen is Windows scaled it to fit the 100% setting on my internal display. Let me move it back one more time and you can see it. You'll see it moves over and then pops back up and becomes larger again. So in a nutshell, Windows allows you to, per display, change the scaling factor to affect the size of things on each display. This becomes important as you add more displays to your system with any of our products, and you want to make things readable and easy to use. Now, this is a complex topic, so we'll have more information about it on our website. There'll be a link in the description of this video. But that's just a quick introduction to display scaling, and I hope you find it useful. Thanks for watching. We make a lot of different products that allow you to add one or more monitors to your Windows system. And what I'd like to do today is just give you a quick overview of how Windows, in this case Windows 10, allows you to configure the additional displays to work the way you want. If I move this window down just a bit and try and move it back again, it doesn't do it. I hit an invisible barrier. Well, why is that? And how do I deal with it? How do I change it? How do I do things with it? 